Hi everyone, I am Dr. Abigail Chong Rivera. I'm a pediatric infectious disease specialist here in Manila Med, and I'm here to answer some of your questions about dengue fever. Our first question is, what kind of mosquitoes cause dengue? So these mosquitoes are called Aedes aegypti or Aedes albopictus. So they're the most common Aedes mosquitoes that can cause dengue. These are the mosquitoes that have stripes on their legs. If you can see them flying around in your house, they are day biters, but they can also bite at night. And tropical countries are the most affected because they have the most mosquitoes. They have rainy seasons. So because of the rain, uh, water accumulates in several containers, in old tires, in the garden. So that's where the mosquitoes can lay eggs and thrive. So that's why tropical countries are most affected by these mosquitoes. What are the most common ways the virus is transmitted? So like I mentioned earlier, the mosquito aegypti is the most common vector for this type of infection. So it's through a mosquito bite. That's the most common. However, maaari din pong makuha ito through um, mother to baby. So when the mother is pregnant and she gets dengue fever, maaari din po niya mapasa yung virus to the baby. Although that's quite rare, no? Those are quite rare instances. Also, you can get them through infected blood. So if you're a donor and you have dengue pala during the time that you donated your blood, then you can actually pass the virus also, no? So through blood transmission. But again, this is also quite a rare instance. So it's really most commonly transmitted through the bite of a mosquito. Can a person be infected with dengue more than once? Yes. So you can actually get infected with dengue four times because there are four serotypes. So there are four strains of the dengue virus, types one, two, three, and four. Uh, the second one is actually the most uh, severe. The first one is usually mild or asymptomatic. And the second one is most severe. So this is because the antibodies that you have previously formed during your first infection can actually promote entry of the virus to your cells during your second infection. So that's why the second infection is more severe than the first one. What are the symptoms of dengue? So the most common symptoms of dengue are flu-like. So fever, headache, body weakness, muscle pain, no? parang um, body weakness. So they, these patients are usually very, very weak. They have no appetite. Some would have tummy aches, vomiting. So those are the most common symptoms. Again, flu-like po siya. So para po siyang trangkaso din initially. However, um, in, in some patients, if there is really a severe form of dengue, so this occurs in one out of 20 of symptomatic infection so it's actually quite rare you can have severe symptoms such as bleeding difficulty of breathing um, and uh, severe abdominal pain and persistent vomiting what are the warning signs that we have to watch out for in these patients so that we know that we have to bring these patients to the hospital for them to get admitted? So this is persistent vomiting, no? Suka na ng suka yung pasyente, di na maka-intake ng food or water or fluids. And um, severe abdominal pain that is also persistent. If they have signs of decreased sensorium or increased sleepiness, balisa na yung patient, hindi na makausap ng uh, matino or they just um, sleep all the whole day. Uh, if they have signs of clinical fluid accumulation, so they have difficulty of breathing, ibig sabihin, baka may tubig na rin sa baga. If their tummy gets um, very large or enlarged or they have, again, severe or persistent abdominal pain, kasi baka may tubig na rin po sa loob ng chan nila. So those are the signs that you have to watch out for. Also, signs of bleeding. Um, and this is spontaneous, no? Biglang dumugo yung ilong, yung gums. You also have to look at the vomitus pag yung suka nila may dugo or pag uh, they defecate and their stool has blood, then that's also um, one sign that you have to bring them to the hospital right away. So those are the warning signs of severe dengue. When do the symptoms appear? 
So this question would address the incubation period of dengue, so meaning from the time when you get bitten by the mosquito up to the time that you develop symptoms. So that's incubation period. And that's usually five to seven days now from the bite of a mosquito. That's when you expect um, symptoms to appear. Is there a specific treatment for dengue? Unfortunately po, wala pong gamot talaga for dengue. Because dengue is a virus, so it's similar po to chicken pox, to measles, to COVID, diba? There are no specific treatment for these conditions kasi um, there are viruses. So unlike bacteria wherein you give antibiotics and the patient will get well. So for dengue po, wala po talaga siyang specific treatment. What is important for dengue is fluid therapy, okay? so. You have to really give fluids, uh, lots of fluids for these patients, either oral or kung admitted po yung pasyente through IV. Is there a vaccine for dengue? Well, there is an available vaccine uh, that is licensed in other countries. Narinig na po natin yung dengue vaccine na no. It was licensed previously in the Philippines, but it was pulled out because um, it still had to be studied further. So it is, however, licensed in. Um, other countries and it is indicated for 9 to 16 years of age for those who have already had a previous dengue infection. Okay, because like I said, di ba yung nagkaroon na ng dengue infection, if you get a second one, then that's the more severe type. So that's what we want to prevent with the dengue vaccine. What are the places or areas usually populated by mosquitoes? And what can we do in order to prevent mosquito breeding? So like I mentioned earlier, uh, yung mga places ng mosquitoes where mosquitoes lay eggs are those areas with stagnant water. So these usually accumulate in old tires, bases, pots, no, in the garden. So even um, a container as small as a cap, pwede na mangitlog dyan yung mosquito. So for vases, we have to change the water in the vase or in the pot every seven days, no, every week. So that if ever naglay ng egg yung mosquito there, uh, hindi na magdevelop into larvae or kitikite yung eggs na yon. So you have to get rid of them or you have to change water every seven days. Or if you have any containers that have stagnant water or have that have accumulated water, you can also put in yung mga mesh nets para makover. And then the mesh nets should the size of the nets should be smaller than the mosquito and the adult mosquito para hindi makapasok doon yung adult mosquito when going out to areas which have wherein you know na madami talagang lamok you have to wear protective clothing so you have to wear long sleeves you have to wear pants no or you can apply yung mga lotion to prevent a, a mosquito bite such as your off lotion so you have to buy lotion that contains DEET. You have to look at the container if it contains DEET. Citronella can also be used. Also, there are also measures that you can use such as yung mga fogging. So you can actually hire mga pest control. So this is usually being done for communities that have outbreaks. No, They apply mga fogging measures so mga pesticides po yan that can kill adult mosquitoes. So those are the ways wherein we can prevent uh, mosquito breeding and mosquito bites um, in our area. Okay, so that's it. I've answered all your questions. But if you have more questions, you can always go to your friendly doctor, your family physician, or your infectious disease doctor. Thank you very much and stay healthy.